comes eats. You filthy sluts. We're gonna do it. Tiffy and Jack, go. So we're at Tiffy and Andrew's because they promised to feed us, and for no other reason. So Tiffy is a bomb cook, and she and Andrew made all of this. Where am I sitting? It looks there so good. Okay. Radish cakes. Radish cake sounds awful, but it's it's they're it's a, delicious. They're the, best. they're the best thing. It smells like something I would hate. So this is where Andrew works and teaches Taiwanese kids to speak English. This is actually kind of impressive. And so like actors and actresses. Yeah. Alright Andrew. That's adorable. What? Ask me questions. Tell us about working here. Uh, this is Treehouse Academy where I work. It's a school. It's a fancy school full of rich kids. And they're nice because they, you know, they're five years old. Most five year olds are really pleasant. Uh, and they pay me well. And I have my own classroom with a computer and access to a color printer, which I've never had before. Uh, and it's kind of wonderful. Tell Maybe. us about how you felt when you realized you could print in color. Ah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. After five years of teaching with never a color printer to my name, it's, it's like the world has opened up to me in ways that I never would have suspected. Would you say it's more colorful? I would say that the, 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 the array the shades of grey have brightened, and my heart <laughs> has become filled with rainbows. As has my classroom. Oh, 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 oh. That is cute. I've never seen that face, to be honest. That's your grown-up. Oh, look at that one. Jump. I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared with my hand. I'll stop using the hand. I was just saying hi. You're scaring that proud boy. Look at his prideful face. He's vain. Oh, this poor guy here. This is the reason you don't see pet shops in Virginia anymore. Oh, he's of stuff gorgeous like puppy. this. He's too big for his cage. Those bars are bad for his Way too feet. big for his cage. Yep. That's, that why it's, that's why it's turning in circles. He's going stir so crazy. His feet must hit. He's not a puppy no more. Well, no. they're all puppies. All dogs are puppies. That's no good. Ooh, look at you! Fancy cats! The pearls. Look at these fancy, fancy cats! Yeah, they're really fancy. Oh, look at that one. Look at it. It's so great. Everything's so colorful. This that already is instantly big. looks like a better place, even though it's not. You know, the, 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 the pearl necklace is looking innocuous, but pet shops are evil organizations. It's probably an explosive color. <laughs> Tiffy! Don't touch me. Goodbye, Tiffy! Okay, so I have this rule where if I don't go to sleep, I don't consider it a new day. Like, I realize that this is probably inaccurate, like, how time works. I realize that the day probably changes whether I sleep or whether I don't. And yesterday night I had the most terrible insomnia. I could not get a wink of sleep. I've been up for, like, close to 48 hours now, and I am just completely exhausted and where I would like to tell you the story of today it, it was like really nothing except like dying mentally the whole day and where I did go outside and like exercise and get stuff done like that uh, I, I handled a lot of things that we had to do throughout the house like not just cleaning but like uh, some repairs that needed to be done and you know various things so like I mean I was productive but I wasn't like all there what I'm saying is I spent the majority of the day staring at a wall trying to get myself to concentrate enough to be productive and to edit this vlog. Which counts as yesterday and today if you're going by normal time, or just one day if you're going by my standard. I'm going to sleep.